welcome back guys so as I was saying in the previous video regarding the crazy um, strong winds we've had here in Melbourne or in Victoria um, it wasn't surprising to to see the effects of the the wind here on the uh, white sapoti tree look what I found as I did my walk see that remember I showed you the the fruit were almost ready recently well it beat me the wind beat me to the to the crunch so the first white sapoti is ready not to pick it's ready to pick up from the ground and I think this one here hang on this one here is ready too hang on no it's still hard it still looks looks ready but it's still hard whereas um, this one here is soft watch hang on let me go in look right it's ready hi from a new haircut we have a white sapoti in spring first time in uh, eight years let's see is it eight years yeah eight years since I planted these that we have our first white sapoti ready and ripe in spring so mark this down guys if you're in Melbourne that means uh, we have white sapoti now every season in the beginning it was only autumn and then it was late summer and then it was winter recently in the last couple of uh, years and now spring we have all year round white sapotis being harvested in Melbourne mm -hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, way. So good. So what we want to see next is the same. The same deal with the black sapoti, the chocolate pudding fruit. Right? It's lagging behind the the white sapotis by uh four or five years I haven't had the same luck with these guys as far as um, well many different things but uh, we're gonna get there eventually guys this it just seems to be taking longer um, I don't know why I would have thought the white sapoti was more um, tropical than the, than the black sapoti it certainly has a lot more sugar while wow, these are sweet super sweet the sweetest fruit that i that i have here at fruitopia alongside the um persimmon the can you see the wind it's still blowing alongside the astringent variety of persimmon the hachiya nightingale yeah so now i'm going to talk about the taste <clears throat> compared to how they normally taste during other seasons it does have a bit of a watery taste um, it's sweet as usual but it's also watery you know like a water bubble there's a lot of water in the um, in the taste with, with together with the sweetness um, you get that sometimes through um, the main crop in autumn but that's what this one tastes like Mm. Yeah. Okay. I just spat out the seeds. <clears throat> Here's the seed of the vista. It's a whopper. Um, <clears throat> I'm not doing the uh, the seedlings, white sapoti. That's 
mainly for grafting purposes, right? There's a couple here in the banana pot where I'm at, right? Which germinated last season. See how they germinated? And the snails have annihilated all the leaves. But uh, they're very easy to, to germinate as seedlings. But not something that I'm into. These are all volunteers. So um, that's the video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's, it was um, that you can see the water in there. I hope it was valuable to you if you're from down here, down south. And uh, we'll catch you from the next one, guys. Very, very windy still. A lot of wind, which um, is kind of scary. All right, guys. Don't forget to, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you soon.